U.S. officials looking to crack down on Canadian cannabis industry investors and workers. Aditi Roy's got the details from San Francisco. Good evening, Aditi. Hi there, Scott. Pot stocks plunge at the open following the report last night that Canadians involved in the marijuana business might not be allowed to enter the U.S., even after marijuana is legalized in Canada next month. A U.S. Customs and Border Protection official telling me that under long-standing U.S. federal laws, any Canadian who works or invests in the cannabis industry or has even used marijuana in the past could be turned away at the border and may even risk a lifetime ban on travel to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection says this would even apply to Canadian marijuana companies that are on U.S. stock exchanges and not involved in any cannabis business in the U.S. Border Protection officials say that each inspection, though, is different and officers do have discretion. Todd Owen with U.S. Customs and Border Protection says our officers are not going to be asking everyone whether they have used marijuana. But if other questions lead there or if there's a smell coming from the car, they might ask. A more common question they could ask is about someone's work. If a Canadian reveals they are employed at a cannabis company, they could be denied access into the U.S. Officials decline to speculate how often this issue occurs, but one Canadian employee of a legal marijuana company tells me they have traveled back and forth across the border without any issue even after disclosing during questioning that they work in the cannabis industry. And Scott, while many of the stocks did recover throughout the session, we have been seeing sell-off in the past few days. Okay, Aditi, thank you so much. Aditi Roy out in San Francisco for us. You want to trade it? Yeah, so, so first of all, the reason the stock sold off was not this news. The reason the stock sold off was there was a downgrade in the sector by Canaccord, who's you know, one of the big names. Uh, things had gone parabolic in the last two weeks, and you got to a place where some sanity came into the fold. The reality in the politics, this is not a particularly new story. Um, and I, I just think that the politics of cannabis in this country have never been better. Okay. The states are, are continuing to see huge revenue gains. By the way, that trickles down to people, taxpayers who are getting uh, the benefit of that. And ultimately, there's no turning back. At the midterm elections, there's going to be huge legislative victories, I think, in, in Dakotas, in Texas. And we know what's going on on the East Coast. I mean, it's about to flip. So look, the Fed is fighting hard. But I believe the Trump administration believes that the cannabis is actually a very bullish political football for them with veterans, et cetera. They're not going to turn away from this. One stock over any other that, I mean, Canopy is the one that gets all the, the Look, pub. I, I think the, the reality is some of those valuations are very challenging at this point. But, you know, the, it, you have to play with some of the bigger names because I think they're going to continue to take market share. Um, it doesn't mean that there aren't great companies trading in Canada that are going to continue to be part of the consolidation process. And one of the companies, if you want to avoid a little bit of the volatility, is Constellation Brands. And why? Because they bought exactly what you're talking yep. about. Their investments have gotten bigger and bigger into that, Scott. And so when you look at where they have positioned themselves, alcohol, company now all of a sudden adding all of this I think that combination is something very interesting is it going to hit any time very soon probably not but I think overall in the longer term that's a stock you want to own and real oh go ahead well, yeah, well, what do you do though I mean you've been all over the story for months now and these stocks are up to, you know 100 percent 200 percent in some cases Tilray has a 10 billion dollar market how do you play the space how do you get exposure you're in a bubble here one of the things that we've talked about in the past is certainly with some of these names that have been rockets to the moon I would be selling upside calls but I wouldn't be naked you know at the end of the day or if you get called away you better jump right back in there and get them but look at valuations and again the way people should be looking at valuations it's probably unfunded capacity it's also going to soon be about revenues, and then it'll be about EBITDA. But take a look at valuations. They matter, and the market's starting to discriminate.